Hi everyone. Before my topic, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Li Qiaochu. You can call me Lia. The Grade Three students from Product Design. Today, I would like to talk about when it comes to games. How competitive are you? To win, this lesson seems to be governed in the DNA of Chinese people. Since childhood, we have been told to win everything, from the small hand newspapers competition in the class to the city league. The Chinese people's strong will has been around since childhood. As far as I'm concerned, my mother wanted me to be the first in the class when I was young. I really said that none of the parents want their children to do badly in the exam, right? So they my parents. Therefore, they also set up a reward machism. The number of the winners were rewarded. The competitiveness was cultivated from this time. For my first 18 years, I have been playing a game called Learning. It is very similar to the Hunger Game, but does not use weapons to kill people. But the server system is exactly the same. The strong will survive, and the weak will emulate. We are known this true since childhood. Therefore, what proves this world in school is ranking. Like ranking in games, the better the academic performance, the higher the ranking, and the stronger the fighting ability. In order to survive, I will continue to work hard to achieve a higher ranking. I remember the happiest time for me was when I ran into the top 100 of the whole grade. That was the first time I saw the results of my efforts. At the same time, it was the first time that the gap between me and the best students in our class was the smallest. You can get a great sense of achievement not only because of the numbers on the report card, but also because you really feel that your efforts are rewarding. Of course, at each stage, different sense of achievements come from different things. As the old saying, two hands are better than one. The mutual cooperation in the team is also important in the game. We cannot compete the tax alone, and we must rely on our teammates to compete together. Group cooperation is not only encountered in virtual games, but also an indispensable part of college life. We complete the homework assigned by the teacher in a team at random or by personal will, and I'm often willing to be a leader because of my personality. At this time, my competitiveness was stimulated. I hope that under my leadership, the task can be accomplished well. Therefore, I will list the things that all team's members need to pay attention to help them better complete their homework, and check whether everyone is doing their best before submitting. So, as to contribute to our team achievements. In the future work, we not only need to make continuous efforts to our own, but also need to find a team that is suitable for us. Only in the position that is suitable for us can we maximize our contribution to the Alliance. Because I'm a person who strictly abides by the schedule, and I can arrange the order of things to be completed. I think this happiness will help me to satisfy my competitiveness. At the same time, I have a strong sense of responsibility for everything I'm responsible for, so I will not easily give up the road to succeed. So in the future life, I will still keep my competitivity attitude towards the survival game because it is not only a weapon that can give me strength, but also a mark deeply impressed in my soul. So no matter now or in the future, I will try my best to do my best. I will not give up any opportunity to see this every opportunity to win or achieve better results. Competitiveness drives human beings to move in a better direction and is the booster of all success. If you are not so competitive, it does not mean that you are a weak person. It just means that being competitive will help you a lot in life. 
and help you clear the dark clouds when you are disappointed. So as to sum up the courage to face the new life, that's all. Thank you.